You got to be kidding me, man. She's just not going to let up. She already basically, she already bas uh, took his career from him. Now she's suing him more under a civil suit. This is why I say a lot of women don't understand collateral damage. Meaning, okay, you got your satisfaction by because you didn't get what you wanted from the deal with Jonathan Majors. You think taking his career from him by weaponizing because your, your, your tears, her white tears, because I always, I always tell you white women's tears. There's that a quote somebody told me long, long ago, a white woman's tears is worth more than gold, especially in America, because all they got to do is cry or act like they're crying. And they get what they what they want. <laughs> but she doesn't understand the, the collateral damage. You're going to see a new age of male actors coming up. And there's going to be a lot of them where it's like, damn, where's your girlfriend? Where's your wife? And they're, they're literally going to be like, mm -mm. <laughs> it's literally because now it's come to a point where. It's 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 literally going to it's coming to a point now where any man of status. You're going to see less and less of them. It's either they're going to have. They're already already going to come in the game married or they're just going to be completely single, meaning. No girl, like no chance of them having a girlfriend or somebody next to him because the damage that she has caused. Just for. She wasn't getting things her way, basically. Is mind-boggling the damage one especially one what one white uh caucasian woman can do to you especially if you are a black man of means is just, just way too much damage somebody that le like somebody so low of significance can do to you that's got to be demoralizing for you if you are a especially if you're like a black man on the come up especially if you're like a, a person that came from nothing and really had to make uh, something out of nothing and then just for your career to get destroyed by some average broad. That's got to be that's got to be very demoralizing. Anyway, let's read the story. Jonathan Majors gets sued by his ex Grace Jabari for de defamation, assault and battery. Um according to Hollywood Reporter, Jonathan Majors has been sued by his ex-girlfriend for defamation, assault and battery. This new lawsuit comes after Jonathan was found guilty on two misdemeanor charges of harassment and assault from the case. With Grace back in March of 2023, Grace alleges that Major subjected her to a pattern of pervasive domestic abuse that began in 2021 and extended through 2023. In that, in the suit, Grace details an incident she says occurred in 2022. She says Major's attacked her and caused serious injuries to her body during the incident. She says a verbal fight with Major's turned physical when he allegedly pushed her so hard she bruised her backside. She alleges. He then picked her up and threw her against the hood of her car. She then alleges he strangled and threatened to kill her. Majors has yet to comment on this new suit, but in the past has denied abuse. Abuse allegations made by Grace Jabari. And I feel I feel bad for Jonathan Majors because. You know. Not only is he getting the flack from the mainstream, but also when you're talking about. Even his black constituents, you got the male simps in the comment section. You have uh, a lot of black women that are like, well, that's what happens when you date white. And it's like, damn, no, no. Like there's like zero sympathy, zero empathy. You know what I mean? And they don't understand. This can happen to this can happen to any man, no matter the race, no matter the background. Just one allegation from a woman. She could say you did something to her and she could have your whole reputation, her your whole your whole career. And then, the, then this, this is the problem. This is the problem that I have because because uh, there's a lot of also a lot of uh, uh, like there are so many like women are so tone deaf. Because then they, then they ask, OK, why are men not approaching? Why are men not? I don't see them with gr girlfriends. Uh, 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 Gen Z men are dating less and less. What's what's going on? And you're just like, what do you think is going on? <laughs> I mean, what do you think? <laughs> what, what like they, they could never they never put two and two together they never be like huh i don't think this will be a good look for all of us at, 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 in general as a whole they never put two and two together so let's go through some of the comments so basically it's most it's mostly there's a lot of um 
you see a, a black dude, he puts, once you go white, your life will never be right. He said, I guess he said that's a Malcolm X quote. And then, but yeah, this quote right here, she is determined to ruin him. So right here, what, what happens is this, and this is also, this is going to have, this happens to the average man. If he's going through a divorce, this, this is what, this is what will happen. This is what, this is what happens to a lot of men. They'll go through like a divorce, right? Or, you know, the wife breaks up with him first, right? And he'll end up moving on with his life, even though he took an L. I'm talking about a real financial L. She'll initiate the divorce, go through hell through the court, right? The court trials, right? Found, finds a way, okay, I'll pay the tab. Does what he has to do, but he still somehow finds a way to stay alive through all of this. Just because the divorce, the, the the divorce proceedings is over, that's just the battles have just begun. It don't matter if the divorce is officially over. If especially if you had kids with her, prepare for uh, child support modifications. Once you start moving up in life, prepare for all all that for you to get brought to court over anything, because you're still alive and you're still finding a way to make uh, something out of nothing. She's monitoring your life. And Grace Jabari, in her case, she's still monitoring Jonathan Major's life. How he still somehow, even though he literally lost his whole Disney de Disney deal, went down the tank, he's still finding a way to just somehow just stay stay afloat. You know, he's still he's now with Megan Good. He's moved on. He made sure he paid for the like. So what people don't understand Megan Good. He pay, he paid for her. That's what that's what men are gonna have to start doing. You get, you need to just pay these broads up front. Okay, you're gonna be, I'm putting you on contract from year 22 to <laughs> sorry 20 uh, in his case 23 2023 through 2020 uh, uh 20 uh 2025. I'm gonna put you on contract from 2023 to 2025. Then we could talk about extensions maybe in the middle of the deal if it's if it's if it's going right. This is what men are gonna have to start doing. They're gonna have to start putting women on contracts. <laughs> because this is too much risk especially if you're a young man on the come up i would have zero girlfriends in my opinion i don't really see the you they're they just, they just they're wait like women are just in 2024 women are too much of a flight risk they're too much of a liability and they literally they literally bring nothing back in return nothing except the potential to bring the authorities down on you when you don't obey her so when you see another comment that says white women doing white what white women do and what people and also what young black men have to understand just because you okay you you're having trouble with with, with dating black women I understand that trust me but um just because you date another race doesn't mean your problems go away it's just it's like I said you got the pros and cons when you're dealing with all different races of women and when we talk about the cons list of dating white women at any moment any moment they have the power to bring on the male sim the male simps in power in the courts of law to favor them and all they have to do is 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 start crying all they have to do is offer uh, offer up a false report a false allegation and it's over and it's i'm talking about it's over you will not you are like you will not recover <laughs> you know what i mean so these are the cons when dealing with uh white White women, I'm white, um, ca Caucasian women, white women, but particularly American white women in general, because they're the princesses. They're always the princesses, and they already know most uh, males, uh, most men are simp's in general for white women. So they know all they got to do is look a little bit disheveled, look a little bit like the victim, and people are gonna listen to what they have to say. <laughs> Somebody said this got to be some form of harassment. Yeah, this is for her to start suing. Jonathan Majors for defamation after you like there he she's on video she's caught on video chasing this man down the street <laughs> and she got the nerve to start suing him after you've already destroyed his career like wow wow it's really because now people are really now looking at the game like you can just do that to somebody yep <laughs> that's how the our you know our justice system works sad but true